Warner Brothers literally hates Zack Snyder. Okay. What's new? I have tried to give them the benefit of the doubt ever since this whole Restore the Snyderverse thing began. And again, people who were making threats against them, people who were being hateful, nasty, and mean to them, you suck. <laughs> you, you don't need to do that. Like, you, you need to make a better life decision and not hate on these people. Uh, yeah. Because at the end of the day, they're trying to do their job. They're doing what they think is right. Even if us fans don't agree with it, don't like it, they probably don't care, and that they have every right to not care. I wouldn't care either. Yeah. Uh, but it's still disappointing. That being said, yes. Do you remember seeing 300? I fucking love 300. And yeah. 300 Rise of an Empire. I, I haven't both even seen movies, Rise of an Empire, to be honest. just slaps. Yeah. I remember, I need to give that a rewatch. I remember watching 300. I went and saw it in the movie theater. I think we were still living in Florida when that came out. I went and saw 300 in the movie theater. Uh, I didn't like it. And I don't... I don't know. Those pure medieval... And I know that's not really medieval, but anything medieval or period pieces like this or like Lord of the Rings, things like that, The Hobbit, I just... I, I, I can't do it. I can't get into it. I don't know why... I've never been a, a Game of Thrones fan. I'm not a Lord you, of the Rings hate, fan. You hate movies that don't have guns. I just don't. I'm. It's not me. I've never been into them. So but, you hate Harry Potter? No, I do love Harry Potter. Okay. Harry Potter is awesome. Yeah. Uh, but I, I, I have a lot of respect for 300 and for what Zack Snyder did. I know it was a really big film. Um, Gerard Butler, it's one of his most iconic roles. Mm-hmm. Uh Zack Snyder did a really good job directing that movie. The movie looks good. It sounds good. The script is good. Um, I should I I should give that a rewatch. I I really that should. was that was slow motion, uh, city. It was like all yeah. slow motion. Like half of, even talking was like slow motion. Yeah. And it's funny because Zack Snyder has even said he was like everybody knows me as like the slow mo guy, and he said I don't even really like slow motion that much. Like it just. He said, I don't know. He was like, if you took, if you combined all my movies and like got the percentage, he was like, it's probably like less than 1% of my movies are slow motion, but that's a whole ass lie. (laughs) Boy, just, there was a lot of it in justice league too. Yeah. Yeah. There was so many literally slow motion of people looking up. I was like, okay, come on guys. Come, come on. Come on, Zach. You know better. Yeah. But it made sense in uh 300 because I mean, that was like all like it was like all action, like 100% right. action. It was like straight up battle after battle. So it makes sense. Yeah. But the whole slow, ma- slow motion of people just looking up, I was like, come on, Zach. Come on, Zach. Yeah. That's the reason why it's four hours long because like an hour right. of slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, so, so Zack Snyder revealed that he uh he wrote a third and final installment for the 300 franchise titled Blood and ashes um but warner brothers wanted nothing to do with it here's what he had to say about it he said i just couldn't really get my teeth into it over the pandemic i had to deal with warner brothers and i wrote what was essentially going to be the final chapter in 300 but when i sat down to write it i actually wrote a much different movie i was writing about alexander the great and it just turned into a movie about the relationship between Hephaestion and Alexander. It turned out to be a love story, so it really didn't fit as the third movie. The concept came out really great. It's called Blood and Ashes. It's a beautiful love story, really, with warfare. I would love to do it, but Warner Brothers said no. You know, they're not huge fans of mine. It is what it is. And, I mean, even he knows. Like, everybody knows at this point. Um, I just... Why are they so anti Zack Snyder? Like... I don't know. Uh, you know, again, oh, I don't hate I don't hate Warner Brothers at all. I really don't. I don't hate the people making these decisions. I disagree with them. Um, but I, I don't 
I don't hate them for it. I, I just, I, I don't understand. Like for me, I think Zack Snyder is an incredible filmmaker. Um, I really like his projects. I really like what he did with, uh, with Justice League. I really, I, I like his movies. And I think, you know, he seems like somebody who wants the, the creative process to be collaborative. You know, he enjoys working with people. I think, you know, he's even said a million times, like he said, I like my movie sets to feel like a family and to feel like everybody's contributing and everybody matters and everybody's got a piece of it and a part of it, you know, and I, I feel like then you have other directors who are just like, it's my way or the highway. And I don't, something had to have happened with Zach and Warner brothers behind the scenes that, that has made them so cold and so uh, just uh, against what he has to, to say and what he wants to do. Yo, I swear, this is going to be like a, this, it's going to be like a mini series where they talk about like Warner Media and Zack Snyder. Like later on in the future, we're going to like find out what happened in like in a full series because yeah. this is, this is weird. Like no one knows what's happened. Like why would, why would Warner Media be upset with him and what happened to him during that time with his daughter uh, passing away? Like right. what, like what is, where's, where's the animosity? That's what I'm wondering. Like where is that coming from? Yeah, where, I, where is the tension coming from? Where is all of this backlash that Zack Snyder is getting with the uh, Warner Media? Like, it makes no sense to be honest. It, guys, if you guys, if you know what I'm talking, if you guys know like the answer, please just let me know because well, I don't, I don't think shit. anybody knows the answer. Um, I mean, for what it's worth, you know, again, I'm not a medieval period piece fantasy kind of guy, but this concept sounds interesting. I mean. It's, you know, it's it's showing the relationship between two people and how this blood and warfare affects that. Um, I, I, I think it sounds like an interesting uh, plot line and an interesting way to tie up the, the 300 series. Um, yeah, because it's kind of left on like an open note pretty much. Right. And, you know, Zack Snyder... Uh, he added that he said it was so cool to do Justice League and that was fun and everything, but Warner Brothers still tortured me the whole time. For whatever reason, they can't help it. I don't know why I'm such an effing pain in their ass because I'm not trying to be honestly. So like, I don't, I don't know. I just, I could be wrong. You know, I really could be, but it, it doesn't seem like Zack Snyder ever wanted to be on their bad side. It doesn't seem like he ever did anything to, to, to intentionally like, hurt them or to intentionally rub them the wrong way um i just i wonder what what happened that rubbed them the you know you can have creative differences and you can have um creative opinions that differ from somebody yeah but the way he's been treated and the way this whole thing has gone down uh it just seems very sus it seems like i like an overreaction like what it's just it's the whole thing has been very cold um mm -hmm. and i think it's made fans of dc and fans of these properties uh that you know Zack snyder wanted to have a hand in uh it, it just makes them kind of curious so i'm i just i i would love to know what happened um and if there's something behind the scenes that we don't know and that we would need to understand before we kind of form our opinion then so be it uh i don't hate warner brothers i think warner brothers does a lot of really amazing films they do a lot of really amazing things uh mm -hmm. i'm a big warner brothers fan actually i just i i i just don't understand i don't understand why this is the way it, why are you the way you are we want to understand we do we want to understand and we don't but that's all we have to say about that yeah we'll leave it there until next we will week. leave it there no, I, God, I hope not. I'm so sick of beating this dead horse. But yeah. I thought that was interesting, the whole blood and ashes concept. Uh